Hi, this is Gillian for Production Expert. I've got a tip on how you might gain some convenience and maybe even work a little faster. If uh, rather than when making changes to mixes, you export a new version of the mix using something like Bounce to Disk, you instead work using a print master and update that using some features of Pro Tools that can help that happen very quickly. Here I've got a mix. It sounds like this. And there's a, there's a little section in the middle. Just here. Which sounds lovely, but what I want to do is I want to try it with this, just unmute it, little piano motif. So we'll just listen to that again. Nice, I like that. So at the moment, what I've got down here is I've got my print master, which I've, I've printed the mix as was, and this section here doesn't have that piano section over it. If we just have a quick listen. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to select this here to get an edit selection, and I'm going to drop in across here and replace that section. So that, very easy to do. What I'll do just for some context is I'll just option click either side just to set up some pre and post roll. And then I'll, uh, I'll unsolo that. I'll mute it and I'll record arm it. And Excellent. And now if we check that mix, what we'll have is we'll have that section, but with that piano motif in place. No, I won't have to feel Great. So that works. However, what we now have is we've got uh, three clips. We've got this one, this one, and this one. And uh, we don't have a corresponding print master file that's kind of like contiguous and got all of that stuff in it because we have this little extra section and we need to combine them. And a very quick way to do that is just to select everything and then just consolidate that, uh, that into a new file using option shift and three. There we are. And now what we've got, if we go reveal in finder, is we've got the corresponding to left and right channel files, and that's our finished print master. And it's much, much quicker to export that than it is to bounce a, a new file to disk. However, there is a quicker way, even quicker than that. And if you want to go there, this is a perfectly legitimate way to work. So what I'll do is I'll create that again. Um, so I'll select across here, and instead of recording, I'll right-click on here, and I'll go to Destructive Record. Use with care because it does replace what's there, but what you'll find is instead of ending up with a separate whole file clip across the bit where you've bounced in and out of your print master, it just updates the file on disk and you end up with a single file by default, which is a really, really useful way to further reduce what's already a pretty quick way of working. So all we need to do is just uh, work across here again and we'll end up with the same result with one step missed out virtue of using destructive record mode. So all I need to do is record enable this track. I've got destructive record mode. And there we are, and it, exactly the same result. But what we now have is we've got that same finished print master, but because we've destructively recorded across that punch in, um, we've automatically got the result that we need. So all we need to do to get to our finished print master, just come over here, right click again, reveal in finder, and there it is, ready to go. So there we go, two ways to update a mix without exporting a fresh mix, just by working to a print track and updating it either in normal record mode, or if you're feeling a little more ambitious, you could work in destructive record and uh, cut out a couple of steps. Hope you found that useful.